It seems that I've inadvertently upset Greg Doucette. Now, that wasn't my intention, other than his unnecessary funding of animal deaths, so he can eat their dead bodies in a sandwich, and he knows full well that there's no need to eat animals, and he's publicly stated this. Other than that, which is completely heinous, I really like the guy. I'm not being facetious here. This is exactly how I feel. I think, uh, other than this one like area, he seems to have a good heart. He seems to be coming from a good place. So I, I didn't want to fall out with him, but I made a response um, to, he did a video showing a couple of days of his, of meals from his new vegan cookbook. And the point of me doing that, I think I probably said in the video, that wasn't an attack on Greg. It's just that when bodybuilders bring out um, like day, day of eatings, like they normally are shy on several nutrients, particularly if the bodybuilder isn't vegan and he's trying to do like a vegan day of eating. Typically, you know, you just get like processed muck with, with a side of like greens if you're lucky. Uh, and it's, it's not nutritious, it's harmful to people's health. This is why I did the response. And people are gonna eat that way for a short time, feel unwell, and decide, oh no, veganism doesn't work. Like, veganism is not for me, the diet is nonsense. Well, we all know, in order to eat healthily, you need to base your nutrition around whole foods. When it's vegan nutrition, it needs to be legumes, whole grains, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. You know, in Greg's video, there was just a very big lack of these things, and it was a lot of protein powder, a lot of white refined carbs, a lot of nonsense sweeteners, probably sugars as well, I seem to recall. Not the sort of foods that are good for health, and he often says that his way of eating is healthy, and normally, for, a, for an omnivorous eater, normally it's relatively healthy. I mean, you can't be healthy and eat any appreciable amount of animal products because they're going to kill it. They kill 75% of the people who eat them. But normally he does eat a good amount of fruits and vegetables, which is why I found this particular day of eating that I reviewed like a bit bizarre. Anyway, again, this wasn't meant to be an attack on Greg. I'm just standing up for people's health. I'm just trying to let people know how to be vegan and be able to sustain it and be healthy and be able to be vegan long term and not hurt animals unnecessarily. Anyway, here's what he said. Just notice there's a video about me here. Funny how you guys can get away with lying about me charging $150 for a vegan cookbook. First of all, I've made at least three other videos about Greg. Mostly when he's on, gone on the attack with vegan gains and I actually sided with Greg on a whole lot of the things. Uh, and then I did a response to his day of eating. He's ignoring those, I imagine, because I called him out in there and asked him why he's still harming animals when he knows full well that it's unnecessary to harm animals. What is the moral justification for murder just so you can eat a dead body in a sandwich? Like the murdered bodies of the chickens whose thighs he eats, he hasn't got a leg to stand on. This is why he hasn't done a response. If you'd like to optimize your health, body shape, or performance with a vegan diet, then please check out my new online nutrition course. I've launched it at a low introductory price. It contains 14 videos, three cookbooks, and masses of downloadable and printable PDFs, including a complete nutrition chart for all ages and stages of life, so you can be sure that the whole family is thriving. Anyway, Funny how you guys can get away with lying about me charging $150 for a vegan cookbook when it's literally $99 and it would hold up in court for certain that people are deliberately lying about me here. Why the hell would I lie on purpose about something that's demonstrably, you know, like provable? I made a mistake. I could swear your cookbooks were $150. If they're $99, I apologize. If I get something wrong, I will say so. So, Coach Greg, I'm very sorry that I got it wrong that you're cookbooks are apparently $99 and not $150. My point there, and again, I wasn't trying to be hurtful, I was just saying from my perspective, that seems like a hell of a lot of money for like 30 recipes. And I still think $99 is a hell of a lot of money for 30 recipes. So I don't know what the difference is anyway, to be fair, but I am sorry. Also, anyone who's already bought my cookbooks in the past, get it for half price. Funny how I don't read that in the comments. I didn't know. If I knew, I would have said, sorry. He continues. Funny how the video I made is a full weekend of two days of eating. He skips the entire second day, which was made more, way more vegetables. Well, point number one, I didn't want the video to go on for bloody half an hour. I prefer my videos to be short and succinct. So had you have did the days the other way around, I, you know, I would have been reviewing the first day. So, you know, see me. But you can't go a whole day without eating vegetables. It's not just vegetables. All right, you had a bit of fruit in there. 
but it's nuts, it's seeds, it's whole grains. When you eat, as I say, when you eat any type of diet, you need to base your diets around whole foods. You can't go leaving out essential food groups with essential nutrients that we need. You know, we need flax seeds, we need chia seeds for the omega-3s. There was none in the whole video. I watched it all through after the fact. You know, people are gonna get sick, they're gonna harm their bodies, they're gonna quit being vegan and throw the animals under the bus. I'm just trying to educate. Apparently, I also, my one plus million followers who watch my videos, how to see me vegetables and fruit more than you've ever eaten in it every single day of my life. I think you'll find I've seen and eaten quite a lot of fruits and vegetables. So what is the point of me showing them me eating what I always eat? So I'm showing variety that eating vegan doesn't have to be fruits and vegetables because everyone already knows that. But do they know they need to eat fruits and vegetables every day? Also legumes, whole grains, nuts, seeds to get adequate nutrition to be able to sustain this cruelty-free lifestyle. Do they know that they can eat this range of foods and also get adequate protein? You know, we should be showing them how to bolster things with tofu, tempeh, seitan textured vegetable protein. You know, all I really saw was, as I say, a lot of protein powder, a lot of white flour, sugar, artificial nonsense, not nutrition. This is not good enough. We have a duty of care to our followers. My video actually gets people who are not begins. I guess you meant to say vegans there to consider being a vegan. And why on earth would you choose to be so pedantic and you're trying to debate my de definition of eating vegan? I wasn't debating your definition of eating vegan. I was debating your definition of the word vegan. If you just use the word vegan to mean diet, that's very problematic because a diet is something that people jump on and off. Veganism, a vegan, is someone who doesn't want to cause cruelty to animals. That is not something you stop caring about and this is a very important distinction. I don't know why you've chosen to feel attacked by this again. As I said, you're not in this circle so you wouldn't have known that. I prefaced that. And I'm sorry this isn't important to you, but it's very important to the animals who suffer and die. Watching this video quite literally will motivate more people who eat me. Dirty boy. I'm gonna guess he meant to say meat. <laughs> who eat meat to keep eating meat and not the other way around, which is in fact what my video did. Also, funny to see how all the vegans seem to be on me. I'm not sure how I was on you. A great job vegans of the world just making people who aren't vegan not want to be vegan even more. Congratulations. We get this all the time it makes me laugh so much. Non-vegans, people who still pay others to murder animals telling me how to advocate for people not to keep paying for others to murder animals. They can't even convince themselves to stop doing it let alone anyone else. I don't know why they've got an opinion. I think probably he's trying to hurt my feelings. So that sounds to me like a counter-attack. Again it wasn't my intention to attack. I really thought Greg was a bit more emotionally intelligent than this. But whatever, perhaps you should watch the video again with a different mindset and consider that this video is more harmful than beneficial for most people. Thanks for nothing. Well, I completely disagree and I'm sorry that I've upset you. As I say, that wasn't my attention. I thought you were a bit more intel emotionally intelligent than this and you wouldn't take it as an attack that I'm saying the truth about nutrition and health and longevity and sustainability of a vegan diet. But, shame. I hope we can kiss and make up at some point because I do like you as a person. As I say, obviously, I think it's horrendous what you do to animals, or sorry, what you pay others to do to animals on your behalf when you know it's not necessary. This is the one thing I would like from you, Greg, just one thing. What is your justification for paying others to murder, to have murdered thousands of animals by now on your behalf when you know full well that it's completely unnecessary. That's all I want, and I don't want to fall out. I would like to be friends, and um, maybe that ship has flown, maybe that boat has um, left the station. <laughs> but um, I hope it hasn't. Again, sorry I offended you, it wasn't my intention. And yeah, I hope you could get back to me on the ethics thing. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Now click this.